You may want to quit because you need physical rest. You need physical rest. I have a dear, dear friend who I remember, gosh, several years ago, she called me up and she was weary. She was tired. She was over it. <laughs> and as we started to talk, she started to tell me she was leading children's ministry. So she was the director of children's ministry for her church. She was homeschooling for kids. She was um, she she had like a, a whole list of things that she was doing. She was meeting with people and discipling and she was stretched very thin. And what happened to her and what happens to a lot of us is that she wanted to give up. And by give up, I mean like get on a plane and leave. She was over it. She was done. And as I was talking to her more, I realized you need a nap. You just need to go and take a nap. You need to to snap. Of course, she needed more than that. But that was the first thing is that she needed to rest. She, she couldn't do it all. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Have you ever just run yourself thin because you've said yes to too many things or you've said yes to things you maybe shouldn't do or you just have so many things on your plate? I could think of about 20 different things that I need to do right now. There is so much that we have going on all of the time and so much that, I mean, our to-do lists are pretty much endless from emails to videos to phone calls, you name it, we have stuff to do. And I didn't even talk about kids. I know that some have have them, some don't, but that brings a level of busyness and then serving in the local church. And then your own ministry, whatever you're doing, there is so much to be done. And there will always be a lot to be done. That here's the thing for you and for me is that we're not the Energizer Bunny. Do y'all remember that commercial with the bunny and the drum and the energy? Yeah, that's not us. We cannot just keep going and going and going. We have to stop. And there is freedom in recognizing that. I find it so freeing when I acknowledge that I can't simply do it all. I can't. And that I need rest, like physical rest. And the psalmist has a word for us. So I'm going to read what uh, the psalmist wrote here. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil. For he gives to his beloved sleep. I love this psalm. It's Psalm 127, 1 through 2. It's so simple, but so convicting if we really think about it. Rest reminds us that unless the Lord is building it, he's building the house, he's building the ministry, he's building whatever it is, our labors are in vain. We can work like crazy. And if we're working with anxious toil, then it is in vain. We have to ask God to help us not to labor with that kind of frantic, you know, you know what I'm talking about, like frantic, anxiety-induced um running around anxiously. And I think a lot of this, a lot of the reason we do this is because we need rest. We need physical rest. Rest is a gift from God. He says that he gives to his beloved sleep. Now, I know that there are some people who you might be thinking, yeah, I'd love to sleep, but I have to wake up at 2 a.m. to feed a child or I have sleep um, insomnia or so there there's there's lots of reasons why for seasons we don't rest for seasons it's it's difficult so so i'm not we're going to talk about condemnation in a second that's not what this is about this is to encourage you that god gives to his beloved and he gives rest he wants you to rest because he knows you need replenishment he knows you cannot keep going and it is his kindness to us when he says, I will give you rest. So that is what God, God, 
He desires that we would physically stop, that we we think to ourselves, wait a minute, there's one God and one God who can keep going, who needs no rest, and even he rested. <clears throat> we see that, that when in the creation, he rested. He doesn't need rest. So there's something about that that we want to emulate as image bearers, as people who are made in the image of God and want to reflect the Lord. Well, he rested. So that is a good example for one of the gazillion reasons why we need physical rest. So if you're doing, if you're weary in ministry, it could very well mean that right now you need to ask yourself, when and how can I rest? Where can I car carve it out? How can I develop a rhythm of rest, physical rest in my schedule so that I can be replenished, so that I can be um, useful and encouraging and um, so that I don't give up. <laughs>